Good morning, everyone. I want to wish you all a happy new year, and a, uh, I hope it's uh, what you wish it to be. So uh, if that's uh, making great art or doing something else, I hope you get what you wish for. Okay, guys, what I'm going to do is I'll show you the dried one I did last time. That's this one. And I think you'll sort of see how this is the most beautiful part. So I, I'm not sure how I'd, no, I'd hang it like this. So, uh, and now probably people are thinking, why not that way and why that way? Well, it's something about this bit here, which uh, is more balanced than when I hang it like this. It doesn't feel as balanced as this one, but that's a per personal uh, choice. I'm pretty sure, you know, some will say, no, I like it better that way with the gold down here, but I think it's better this way. So I am uh, I am gonna put some resin on this one, but it has to at least dry another two weeks. But I'm gonna put resin on top because I think it calls for resin. And um, I'm gonna do this one a little bit bigger, as you can see, and we're gonna do the same way. And what I really have in mind, it's more of a study for something really big I'm going to do. I finished my big painting, and I'll show you that uh, after I do this video. So I'm pretty... I haven't put my initials under it yet, so my... Maybe, I'm not sure, you know, but sometimes you just can't stop with, with when you're doing something, and that's something I have to get over. So, um, <clears throat> but I'll show you at the end of this video. Now, I've mixed up some black, and I'm putting some here in a little cup, because this is the, uh, that's the perfect thickness, let's see, yeah. Uh, this is the one that's going to go on top, and this one, this little bit is going to contain a little bit of silicone. Then I have my gold, I'm going to mix it one more time. And I'm going to put that in a little cup also, which we're going to add a little bit of silicone. Then I have my bronze, and we're going to fill a little cup with that, a little bit of silicone. And I've made more because I might want to add later, I might want to add something to the, uh, to whatever pops up. That's perfect thickness. I'm going to put in a tiny little bit of silicone, and now there a little bit of schmutz went in there, as you can see. Really have to get that out, don't know what that is, but it's out. And we're going to stir in the silicone. Now guys, I was going to work on um, the giveaway, because I still haven't, and I'll tell you what happened at work, everyone sort of took off. <laughs> it's so funny. Oh, wait a minute, I forgot my badge. Um, I'm not sure if it's really funny, but they, everyone just took off. They just, this is really fun. They just went. There was no um, talking about it. There was no um, there was just nothing. There was no discussion. There was just, all of a sudden, there was just me. <laughs> yeah, I can laugh about it now. This is too uh, thin, though, by the way. Okay, I had to stop the video there for a bit, because um, I had this um, really nice eggshell, buttery, whatever you call it, color, and um, it was really thin. So I had to thicken it up a little, then I had to add, oh, now it's a little bit too thick. Oh boy, you can, you know, when you're not pouring every single weekend, you really uh, get to see that you lose some of the, um, how do you call it, the finesse of pouring, because normally I would get this right, like within minutes. And now it's a little bit too uh, too thick. Then it was too thin. Then it's too thick. So I'm stirring that up again. Let's see what we get here. Yeah, that's okay. 
so um what else oh yeah so all of a sudden i was there all alone so i couldn't take any days off but i'm gonna be taking uh i think a week off a week vacation i'm gonna fix well not fix i'm gonna be working on the giveaways i did do a little bit but just you know in between christmas and uh i don't know how you call it we call it out and new old and new so out and new old and new it's almost the same so what we do is um between christmas we have two christmas days like i told you more times than once i think so we have uh first and second christmas day then we have a couple of days and then we have old and then we get new of course but there is um a lot of people that take those days off in between so what you see is that it's really really uh um, better to drive to work I drive to work in 10 minutes and on a normal day it takes about 45 minutes because of the traffic usually when i come from work so when i go home it's not so bad because that's around two o'clock in the afternoon and that's um when most people are at work anyway so that's not too bad but going there in the mornings that is really really it's awful I can I can go like I can do four or five routes to work and one is worse than the other it really is and then you'd say why don't you go on the bike on your bicycle but guys you know my hair if I do that my hair will be like straight because I don't have curls my hair is really straight and uh, then I'll have to walk around like some sort of a scarecrow all day and that doesn't appeal to me was looking for a brush because I got to do the sides just a little bit because I want anything that's gonna be gold or bronze I just want it to go over the side if it's at all possible put a little in here sorry I think I thumped the microphone there a little bit okay that's nice that'll work And then what did we do? We watched a lot of TV, my husband and I. He's not normally um, into the uh, American TV shows. I am, but we found uh, Homeland. We I have seen uh, season one, and that was a long time ago. And it wasn't all that. I didn't really enjoy it that much. But because we had to watch something, we started over and we have seven seasons now because they're just going to start with season eight this year so um we had a lot to watch and it it just got better and better up until season seven that was a freaking disaster i don't know i think those people that were um the writers of that show i don't know what they did i think they had a quarrel or something like that because it was it it's it's just terrible i'm 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 really not sure if it's even the same people writing the show um i think uh season six was the best and uh right now i'm dragging through season seven because i do want to finish it so that's what i've been doing okay that's uh pretty much um covered evenly covered let's make that nice and smooth there okay that's enough now you'll see all these little um sort of smears in the paint but don't worry because that's gonna flatten out totally and now the choice i have to make is if i want to do it like this going up and down or if i want to turn the canvas and i think i'm going to go for turning the canvas because i'd like to well, I might might even not do it in the middle. I might take it up a little bit higher. That might look really cool. So let's do this. And I really did enjoy, guys. I really enjoyed uh, doing the uh, the really big painting with the uh, gold leaf on it. 
and I've got a new idea for another big one so I think I have one more big canvas up in the attic not really sure though but if I do I'm gonna start that pretty soon because I'm sort of getting into the really big ones I like it <laughs> that's kind of cute too isn't it I think so I want a little bit of black just to, maybe I'll swipe yeah that might look good let's see what happens okay here we go we're gonna swipe this one right down I don't want to swipe too much I want some negative space because the other one doesn't have the negative space that's more than enough that's more than enough and ooh, that one I don't like gotta do that one over that's better and well we'll see what that turns into and I'm gonna turn it around 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 that's it then we're going to swipe this all the way down. Okay, let's see what happens. Of course, we got to torch it. Okay. It is coming over the side a little bit and I do like what's happening here but I do also want some different effects like that And I think I'm going to blow that with a straw, a big one. Okay. It's kind of, it's not really like what I was thinking it was going to turn into. Whoops, sticky, sticky. So I'm going to do another one over the top. like that let's see what that is I'm gonna pull it down a little bit help it a little bit down because then we get those nice little drips and that is looking okay for me I kind of like that the bronze is popping through the gold is popping through only I would have liked this to be a little bit more smooth and I don't think I'm gonna get that right now <coughs> so I might just have to uh, let this go for the moment Well, that's kind of nice. Yeah, that's a nice effect, only it should be a little bit bigger. That's it. I'm still looking at it if uh, because there's a lot of spatter going on in the negative space but of course we can always fix that I'm gonna let it come down a little bit more has to be a little bit bigger okay let's keep it like that and eh, maybe not 
I would have liked it to be a little bit bigger even. Hmm, I'm thinking, thinking, thinking. Because I'm not sure. Can you see all the splatters here? I really don't like that. I think that really does something to the whole painting. So I'm going to swipe it with my black. And that looks a little bit better. There you go. And this is not the card that I swiped the silicone paint with. This is the one I did the background with. So that works out really well. Glad I did that. That'll save me a lot of work once it's dry. Okay, I think I'll leave it like this. And the thing is that I can always come back and do something to it. And if I do, just let it come down a little bit more. And when I do, then I'll um, I'll show you what I'm I'm gonna be doing to it. Eh, it's starting to look better, better. Let's see if we can just pull this down a little bit more. Try to make it come down straight. You sort of give it a guide, and then uh, when you um, set it up straight, it'll it'll sort of go along the lines you pull. There it goes. I'm sort of going for this industrial look and I think that's pretty much um, what it looks like now. So this is where I'm gonna stop because I need, oh no, I can do that without gloves. Because I'm gonna add the glittery stuff. Let's see what color shall we do. We're going to give it this one. Because I like it when the glitter dries in the uh, wet paint. You know, when it gets in there, it sort of sinks in a little bit. And then when it's dry, you can't get it off. And I, I think that's uh, the way to do it. Okay, that's it. A little bit here, here, here. There we are. That's it. You won't be able to pick that up on the video, but it's it sort of brings it all together. I like that. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Sorry that it turned into a long video again. But we're going to let this one dry, and then we might do a, a little bit touch-up here on top. And I'll show it to you when it's dry. I'll show you the big painting now, so see you, see you after this one. See you next week. Bye-bye. Okay, that's uh, just what I did there, and this is the painting, the big one. It's not really, really... Now, if you can see, there's a lot of structure in there, see that? And that's a lot of structure. The corners are a little bit darker, as you can see up here. Then you got all the gold leaf, and at the bottom I sort of um, darkened the corners a little bit too. Uh, you're not really seeing the really nice colors, but it's more turquoisey than it is here on the video. A little bit more turquoise, but that's it. So take a few steps back. There you go. Ooh, I almost knocked off my other one there you go thanks for watching guys see you next week bye bye